A pilot can fly an airplane 2,240 miles with the wind in the same time as she can fly 1,840 miles against the wind. If the speed of the wind is 50 miles per hour, find the speed of the plane in still air. So the question asks us to find the speed of the plane in still air, so that is what we'll establish as our variable. Remember that the wind speed is 50 miles per hour. So if we take the speed of the plane in still air and we add it, add 50 miles per hour, we will get the speed of the plane with the wind. If we take the speed of the plane in still air and we subtract 50, we will get the speed of the plane against the wind. This is going to be a distance equals rate times time equation. The best way to do this is to set up a table. And the way we want to do that is go ahead and fill in the information that the question gave us. So we know that the distance with the wind is 2,240. We know that the distance against the wind is 1,840. Now we just established those rates. So the rate with the wind was still air plus 50 miles per hour. And the rate against the wind was the speed of the plane in still air minus the wind of 50 miles per hour. Now because this is a distance equals rate times time problem, we know then that time equals distance divided by rate. So all we're going to do here is transfer that over. So this is going to be 2,240 divided by x plus 50. And against the wind is going to be 1,840 divided by x minus 50. Now what I'd like to do is go back to the problem again. Many times these questions get a little bit confusing and it's always good to check back in and reread so that we can understand exactly what it's asking. This particular time we want to focus on the wording because the wording is very important here. It tells us that a pilot can fly an airplane with the wind in the same time as she can fly against the wind. So this is our key word on how it is we want to go ahead and set up this problem. So what we're going to do is time with the wind equals time against the wind because the question tells us in the same time. So we take what we got from our table. Time with the wind was 2,240 divided by x plus 50. That then equals time against the wind, which is 1,840 over x minus 50. Because this is an equation with an equal sign in the middle, we are allowed to cross multiply here. So that is exactly what we're going to do. So that gives us 2,240 times x minus 50 equals 1,840 times x plus 50. Now, what we're going to do here is distribute these, and when we solve for x, we are going to get 510. So, we're back to what we established. x is 510. And that was what we solved for. Remember that the wind speed is 50 miles per hour, so if we take the speed of the plane in still air and we add that wind speed, we get 560. Same thing when we do against the wind. Once again, speed of the plane in still air is 510. We subtract the wind there and we get 460. 
So the last thing we want to do on this problem is we really want to check to make sure that we've done it correctly. Remember that it said that the airplane flies with the wind in the same time as it flies against the wind. So let's go ahead and do a double check here. Time with the wind. Remember that with the wind our distance was 2,240 and the rate that we just determined is 560. When we do the division here the answer comes out to be 4. Let's go ahead and do that against the wind as well. The distance against the wind was 1,840 or 1,840 and the rate that we just determined was the still air against the wind, which is 510 minus 50, so that gives us 460. And if we do the division here, we also get 4. Now because we're solving for time here, these are going to be hours. This is the way we check. The question tells us that the plane flies with the wind in the same time as it does against the wind, and because when we do our double check, we get four hours for both, so that verifies that our answer of 510 miles per hour is the right answer. So, the speed of the plane in still air is indeed 510 miles per hour.